All right, I'm Tim, and I'm going to show you how to use the wall as your friend with Rolga. It's actually quite simple. Uh, all that you're going to do is I'm going to start you with the shoulders, move into the back, get down into the hips, the rear, and into the IT band and feet. So uh, this is going to be very quick, very educational. Of course, you're going to slow your roll. You're going to move simple, have very nice, easy rolls. But to start on the shoulders, I like to go in this deep zone, this zone three. And I put it against the wall like this here, and then I can just do little wall rocks up and down. Uh, as you want to move around behind the shoulders, you just give a turn backwards and 45 degrees towards the wall. And again, just arm shrugs up and down. Let that arm hang nice and loose. As you move under the lats, same thing. You're just going to lift it up, put the hand behind your head, and you're going to rock down and back and turn. And again, adjust and move it down the wall for various angles of pressure as you roll back and forth. Very nice. Very, very easy use uh, in that. As you get down into the hips, uh, you're just going to go ahead and park it right on the hips here and you're going to just do little wall sits kind of up and down. I like to leave this leg bent so that way um, it has room to move and then I use the outside leg as a pilot leg and I just do little wall sits up and down, adjusting accordingly. And then again down the IT band and you can adjust and go even further and each time I'm using that deep zone three, the deeper groove, okay? And then as I move around, uh, what I like to do is on the back, I like to start in the glutes, just put it up on the wall here and just kind of rock. And then if you turn, you're now on that piriformis and just doing little wall sits. If you need to, you can always have a chair in front of you as a brace, um, that helps too. As you move up into your back, you're gonna do the low back, just down and up. If you want more pressure, move your feet away from the wall and do a deeper wall sit. And then uh, you just do little spots, you know, just little sections. You don't have to do your entire back, otherwise you're sitting all the way to the floor. Just little sections. And if you want to get behind the shoulder blade, just hug yourself and lean, bury the shoulder blade into the Rolga, and go the other way and roll it into the Rolga. So it makes it really nice that you can park yourself however you'd like on that roller. So that's great. And then to finish um, up in the neck, um, it's very nice. You could just park the Rolga to the side and just lean into it. And then on the shoulder, uh, kind of deeper in the back of the shoulder blade, you can also do the same thing, just kind of rock back and forth. So that's how to use the Rolga up against a wall. It just uses it like an assisted wall would be just like the floor. So uh, just a little bit lighter pressure and you have more control and variation in it as well. So now you know how to roll with Rolga using the wall.